Hi, I'm Cynthia Jammin, owner of Twirly Girl, and I wanted to introduce to you today the writer of all our stories and podcasts, Michael Jammin. Hi, oh, yes. my name is Michael, and I've been working as a professional screenwriter here in Hollywood for about 20 years, uh, mostly sitcoms, some movie stuff. Uh, so we decided to bring some of that magic to Twirly Girl to talk about her dresses and to help make the lines more vibrant and more alive. So I'm going to talk a little about how to write uh, a story. Um, and I'm going to share, to you, share with you what I learned years ago when I first started uh, writing. I took a class from a guy named Bill Edelson, and uh, he was a writer on the uh, Mary, uh, no, on Dick Van Dyke show and Get Smart, some of my favorite shows he's written on. I remember being in his classroom all those years ago, and he said, okay, you all want to write stories, so someone define what a story is. And everyone was at a loss, because how do you define on what a story is. And some brave soul got up and said, uh, it's a narrative with a beginning and a middle and an end. And then he said, oh, okay, so you know what else has a beginning, middle, and end? A piece of you-know-what. So you just wrote a piece of you-know-what. So uh, that was not helpful, so he had, a, he had to be more clear for us what a story really was. And he defined a story as this. A story is the struggle of a hero against an obstacle as he tries to achieve his goal. So it's a hero, obstacle, goal. And your story is never interesting or complete until you've identified all those three things. And the sooner you can identify a hero, obstacle, goal, the more interesting, the more riveting the story is. And the bigger the obstacle is, the more interesting. And the bigger the goal is, the more we root for that person. So hero, obstacle, goal. And to give you an example, Jack and the Beanstalk. Who is the hero? Jack. What does he want? He wants the goose that lays the silver eggs? No, no. The goose that leads the golden eggs, because the gold is a bigger goal. It's bigger, it's more worth more. But what's the obstacle? The obstacle was a giant, okay? So it wasn't a dwarf, it was a giant. The bigger the obstacle, the better, the more riveting the story is. So that's something I keep in mind whenever we create stories here for the podcast or for the dresses that you know, we produce. Uh, and hopefully that's something that you could use as well when you're writing your uh, stories. Hero, obstacle, goal. All right? Good luck.